Welcome to the Eddie Lamb Show. We dedicate this podcast to interviewing musicians of every kind, as well as online content creators on social media. Whether if they're starting out or if they're already on the rise and still growing, this show is all about having a fun conversation with our guests, talking about their favorite things that relate to their passion for their projects. Thank you so much for tuning in, and let's have that conversation. One of the key factors when it comes to hosting talk shows is the chemistry and conversations. Our guests for this episode are two of the three co-hosts for a local Vancouver-based podcast called Glitterally. With their natural sense of humor while tackling various random topics, Cameron, Carl, and Rabob bring each unique insights to the table. We'll be chatting with Cam and Carl about their show's history and other things related to their taste in pop culture and more. Everybody in the studio, we got a couple of amazing people uh, who are local podcasters here in Vancouver, BC, Canada. They have a really cool show called Literally, and it's one of the funniest podcasts I've ever heard so far. And it's BC born, and it's uh, full of amazing uh, local and, of course, uh, worldwide, worldwide relatable content um, in a very cool, hilarious way. So it is hosted uh, by an amazing trio, um, two amazing dudes, and a really cool gal uh, who adds a lot to the conversation. Uh, today we got two of the dudes here. We got Cam and we got Carl. So welcome to the show, guys. Carl, Cam, how are you guys doing? They were amazing. amazing. I almost editing. cried. Oh my god! I almost cried. Yeah. That, <laughs> that was great. Thank you, man. <laughs> no well, problem. That, like, wow! Yeah. I've never gotten an intro like that before. That's, yeah, well, that's really amazing. I need to walk into a room. <laughs> yeah. That needs to play every time I walk into a room. You know that? <laughs> like every time. But the best thing I do like about this is that you know, like you every I think every guest deserves a, a nice uh, introduction just because you know all the content you guys created. You guys have worked your butts off since day one. And I can tell like, you guys are at what episode number thirty-five now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a minute. It's yeah. we've been doing it for a while. Uh, October, October twenty twenty-three was the beginning months of it. Yeah, where it cultivated. Yeah. yeah, that's very true. Yes. Yeah, and then even before that, like a year ago, I came up with the concept, yeah. um, colorway, name, all this stuff, and then obviously I have two incredible friends that I wanted to bring on with it, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, now we're here. Yeah, we're here. He's talking about us. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes, yes. Of course, uh, uh, um, uh, Rabab could not be here uh, tonight, um, but we yeah. send all the love to her. Um, Much and love to Bobby. Yeah, Bobby, we miss yeah. you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So, Bobby, uh, hopefully we'll have you on here with your very own episode one day. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. A yes. very special Eddie, Eddie Lamb. I'm all about making stuff happen, guys. So, <laughs> <laughs> say less, damn. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about the the history of uh, Glitterly. So, like you said, Cam, you started this about uh, a year ago now. Uh, so, what inspired you to start this podcast? Okay, so this might be way back. So back in like 2012, 2013. Oh. There was a podcast that I really enjoyed, and back then no one listened to podcasts, mm-hmm. but especially when you had to go through iTunes to get it. Like, and plus I'm such a yapper. I was like, yeah. why not? You know, let me just talk. And yeah, that podcast inspired me. I was like, I can just sit with my friends yeah. and chat. Obviously, I was 13 at the time, mm-hmm. so I couldn't make it happen at the moment. But right. here we are. I came up with the idea, and I just know these two great people, and I just wanted to work with them. And Carl, how did you come into the picture? Yeah, um, I've heard about my uh, like Cameron over here just you know working working with kind of like a podcast idea, mm-hmm. and... We worked together actually, uh, and you know, kind of like coursing through just you know times and memories later on as well. Mm-hmm. He was just like one day, like you know what we we we've had some pretty funny co- you know conversations, like yeah, like every any, friend, like every friend group, every friend group. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then Cameron was like, "Yo, we should make a podcast. We should make a podcast." Yeah, and um, and uh, yeah, like uh, kind of later on as well, we kind of like sort of lost the idea and then kind of got back to it. And initially it would just be Rabob and him. Mm, right. And he proposed to me an idea as well. Uh, just, yeah, this October. Yeah, yeah. Or last October, sorry. And then I was like, yo, let's do it. I mean, yeah, yeah. love y'all guys. So. I started it with Rabob. No yeah. kidding. Actually, she's like, she's the OG. She's me and her. Like we were like, 
It was almost going to be not even maybe comedic, a yeah. comedic podcast, but like right. it turned into that, which is like grateful because I mean, like it's great to share laughs. Mm-hmm. Um, but me, yeah, me and Rabab were like on a level of just like serious conversation. Yeah, and and just talking about it. And but then I was like, hey, Rabab, uh, we got Carl over here. He's like pretty good guy. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you want to like bring him on, and it worked, and it worked, and I think our all three of us like very share, the dynamic works. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. amazing. And you guys all grew up together, basically. Yeah, in a way, in a way, in yeah. a way. Yeah, so I met you when I was nineteen. I met Carl when I was nineteen. Oh, yeah. okay, wow. Yeah, twenty five now. It's kind of messed up. But <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for those who uh, obviously this is an audio uh, podcast, but uh, just to give you guys some visual context, uh, these guys don't look anywhere near twenty five at all. Oh. They are very youthful uh, looking Eddie. Uh, dudes. Eddie. So just, just so you know, a shower of amazing compliments. <laughs> we should get an award for like the most amazing compliment giver. Oh my goodness! <laughs> like of the year. <laughs> I mean, as a, he looks good yeah. himself as well. So oh, like, course. I mean, oh my goodness! Guys, right. yeah. And that's the thing too, because because I'm pretty old, but you know, it's, it's cool to hang with you guys, honestly. So, um, with Bobby, I mean, I mean, I hear her stuff too, and she adds so much to the conversation. Like a I lot. said, you know, and um, when it comes to uh, making all these different topics that you guys talk about, like uh, I'm assuming, like all three of you um, brainstorm together as a team, correct? So this might come as a shock. <laughs> yeah. We when we come together to record an episode, we may talk about a few things. Yeah. Like just updates on the week. Yeah. But then it goes it just jumps. Like once the recording is on, yeah. It's just bang, bang. And we just start. It's just it's no real structure. Nice. We just do it. <laughs> just, nice. I don't know like how to explain that. But yeah. it is very just like topic, topic, yeah. topic, and it's funny story here or there. Yeah, unrehearsed, unscripted. Yeah, yeah. very raw. Very Anything impressed. goes. Anything goes. Yeah. Nice. And you get some interesting stories out of it too. So that's know. that's awesome. Yeah. I feel like we thrive more in it just because we've had instances or we've had um, episodes where we thought about what we would discuss, mm-hmm. and then it initi- like it it went okay. But yeah. then the most like to us like the most best podcasts episode that we've ever done. We're just all improv and yeah, just raw, know, just riffing. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. So that's yeah. why we, yeah, till now it's just episode thirty-five and episode thirty-five, you know, just a like lot of good content. Out. I'm just hanging out with my thing. friends, you know. Like, yeah. And that's the great thing about podcasts. Is I think what uh, makes it so good is just the chemistry between the people talking to each other, yeah. uh, whether they be the regular host or uh, the host and the guests. Um, but that's the thing I enjoyed about you guys was I felt that chemistry between the, the three of you. I'm just like, yeah, these guys look like they've known each other for so many years, you know, and <laughs> you guys know each other so well. And, and you know, according, you know, of course, uh, uh, Carl and Bobby knows Cam's dirt, you know, and vice versa, of course. <laughs> but oh, shit, <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. spilling all that tea. Right. But, yeah. um, but what I, uh, I love about uh, that podcast is that all these different topics you guys talked about, right? Yeah. And so you talked about uh, all the local Vancouver stuff uh, yeah. and you bring up all the local issues, but you do it in such a funny way that it still makes us think about the topic, but at the same time, you make us laugh about it. It's like you make light of the situation. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> that was very nice. Because yeah. uh, at the end of the day, it's hard to like wake up and just be mad about stuff like that's yeah. so annoying just to wake up and be pissed off yeah about things but like um i don't know there is a lot of things every city has good bad you know yeah. every city's gonna have good bad. Yeah. yeah yeah we we always try to make it a point to you know have a laugh or two at least for yeah. every conversation that we have yeah which is funny enough it's it's almost like in like uh every almost encounter that we have we always have just jokes and everything like that kind of inter- intertwined with our yeah our whole conver- <laughs> like conversation interactions before recording is like yeah <laughs> like crazy a lot yeah. of jokes it's just like of course i think it's just it's a very freeing time for us yeah because i mean like everybody in the city's busy yeah like you're constantly busy you're doing stuff you got this going on you got this going on like when we come together we can just have like a free moment just to just like be together and hang yeah. out and make each other laugh mm-hmm. uh yeah that's it's intense yeah. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, for, for instance, I mean, you guys talked about uh, some serious issues, of course. Uh, we talked about the, the housing crisis of Vancouver. Uh, yeah. We talked about things like, you know, like the drug issues we have. Um, but then you you guys do in such a, you know, it's, it's humorous, but in a tasteful way. That's still, 
you know, it, it's still complimenting, right? It's not like, yeah. you know, it's like, it's, it's not like you guys meant to be, you know, super offensive or, yeah. you know, all that, right? I always felt like good humor uh, comes from uh, making people think about whatever topic, mm-hmm. uh, but still make some jokes about it in a way that's like, not like, you know, oh, in poor taste. And people are yeah. not going, you know, ugh, I don't yeah. know about this. Yeah, respect. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Respect is like a big thing. Yeah. Uh, we're not like, look, we're not like, no one should be anywhere to look down on any others. No, like, it's just, exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. those jokes. Yeah. And you guys talked about, uh, uh, was that one t- example, karaoke? Yeah. Which is, you know, the stereotype <laughs> that uh, Carl can, and I can relate to of yeah. being of Asian uh, descent. But, uh, 100%. <laughs> kara- you know, um, when it comes to karaoke, I mean, do you guys have a go to song? Have you ever had that chance to, to go to a, a bar and do it publicly in front of people? Honestly, oh. me, uh, I think I have a lot of go-to songs, but the top one is actually just now. I've actually busked it recently. Nice. Um, you I, did busking? Yeah. Outside? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Gravel Street or Olympic Village or where? No, I just like Someone's stole somebody's or... <laughs> mic. <in> the... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I asked him. I asked him. And nice, he was nice. a fellow Filipino and I was like, yeah. hey, you've been amazing at singing and you know, you've been entertaining everyone here. You know, I, I mean, you, you seem like you're already packing, so do you mind if I sneak in a song? And okay. then he was okay with it. He was nice. okay with it. And then uh, nice. I sang "Best Part" by Daniel Caesar. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Are you familiar? Oh. Well, okay. Well, here's the the funny thing that you mentioned Daniel's name. So when he came to Vancouver for the uh, the Juno mm-hmm. Awards, yeah, yeah, I had a couple of uh, local friends who actually backed him up as uh, his choir from that one number he did. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. So it was amazing because they they got invited at, at a very short notice, but they said, "Hey, look, you know what? Uh, we we need a couple of more singers. Uh, let's get someone local." And I guess you know, word of mouth gets out, right? So you know, someone knows a friend of a friend of a friend, and so they trailed down to uh, two people I knew personally, and they got a chance to uh, back them up uh, live at Rogers Arena, and Roger, lo and behold. Damn. Okay. That's beautiful. Oh my god. Yeah. You have friends in high places. Even uh, earlier today, yeah, even earlier when, before we started the podcast, you were just you know, telling you us know who. Yeah. yeah, telling us a lot of the stories about, you know, your community the, and how involved okay. you are. <laughs> Well, and admire that a lot yeah well this is the thing because the, the local uh, entertainment scene is so small right and yet yeah. everyone knows each other somehow along the way so it's like you know uh they know someone who knows someone or maybe say musically for example uh we used to play in a band with this guy but now this guy's playing with a friend of a friend uh, who also did this band too right and they, they would come across someone maybe iconic be like oh you backed up you know, this singer <laughs> yeah. or Michael Bublé, for example, right? Like, yeah. and, and, and it will happen, you know? Uh, and I feel, and I felt like, you know, even with the podcast community, uh, you know, with you guys, like just getting yourself out there too. Um, mm. Just the fact that, you know, like when you're getting yourself out there, um, you know, I'm pretty sure you must come across some other local podcasters uh, who you probably learn a lot from, uh, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah. Not. not. <laughs> We've never talked to anybody, but I've definitely yeah. seen clips of like some people with like the, the Langley that Langley podcast. Uh, there's like maybe two more, I think. Yeah. But yeah. I never like physically, we never like t- chatted. Except texted. for, you know, Except Eddie Lamb. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank Except you. for the beautiful Mr. Eddie, Eddie Lamb, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. The stars aligned for us, right? Yeah. So it, it's great, honestly. <laughs> uh, so for those of, the, of you who uh, don't know how we met, uh, so we went to a creative, uh, cr- a creators uh, meetup. Uh, it was a really yeah. great networking uh, get together. Uh, um, this is back in June now, I believe. June 2024. That was fast. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> and uh, we had a pleasure of, of meeting all different kinds of creators. Um, so of course, you know, uh, uh, we got Carl, uh, Bobby, and Cam, who represented uh, being podcasters. Uh, I myself being uh, a musician, and then we had some f- other friends who were TikTokers, YouTubers, and uh, photographers. Uh, even like people in what is it in like web development, like yeah. Like, Marketing. Pro, yeah, yeah, like yeah. pro, and we're talking pro level web development here too. Yeah, I saw people have showed yeah. us their work, and I'm just like, how did you guys take the time to do all this? It's like for, forget WordPress or Wix. We're gonna hire these guys, yeah. you, know? <laughs> you know. And um, and, and I just want to give a big shout out to to, uh, to those folks who have organized that um, uh, um, back in June. And yeah, so very for, nice people. Very yeah. nice. Thank you for bringing us together. By the way, uh, you guys are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was like, fun. Me, yeah. Carl, and Rabob showed up. And yeah, just met you and met everybody yeah. else and there was cookies and coffee it was a good time what's what's really amazing to me is that um i never knew how many filipino creators there are 
yeah. or Filipino, you know, content creators. Yeah. And I was just really surprised that in that turnout, there was, you know, more, more than I expected, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and quite honestly, I think of, I've only seen like one or two white people in that crowd and that was it. <laughs> Yeah, it's the rest were all like people of different cultures. Yeah, you know, and yeah. and I think that's the thing I really admire about uh, what our city has to offer. I strongly feel that um, the diversity is really where it's at in the city, and I feel uh, you know even especially you know with you know Carly and I you, can, you and I can relate to this uh, in the Asian community. Mm-hmm. We're seeing so many different kinds of people in, in that creative field uh, who serve in different industries, including film and tech and music or whatever it may be. And yeah. It's, it's really great to see that encouraging too. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure like you guys must have met so many different characters that, that probably uh, stuck out to you. This city is crazy. <laughs> like, we just yeah. started there. Like you'll never understand like how or how you came to be to meet so many people. Yeah. Like it's, it's wild. Like even we have a really good friend. I'm he's from Botswana originally from india like it's just like and then he just exposed me to so much food and culture behind all those things and it's it's very beautiful yeah mm-hmm. very open with my eyes moving here yeah. yeah yeah even even for me as well i've just been just been used to you know filipino people obviously i'm back home and then come in here culture shock but yeah. you know found uh found kind of like my entertaining side i guess or kind of like my comedic side yeah almost in in that sense by yeah. exposing myself into all of these different cultures. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. And that's awesome. I think the fun part about that meetup too is that um, you knew someone who knew the same crew that, that worked with you in the past. <laughs> yeah. Yo, so okay, the guy yes. at the door, the boxing. Yeah. The boxing. Like that was crazy. Yeah. Uh, really? Such a small world. Yeah. Uh, we were standing outside. Yeah. And the, the lead lady of Prep the Culture. Yeah. Um, she came out. I was like, hey, you guys are glitterly, right? And I was like, damn, okay. Like, they, are, they, yeah. they know something. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's through Carl. Like, Carl is like a big enigmatic presence yeah. in the lower mainland. Yeah. Like, he's lived here for a lot of years, too. Yeah. And, you know, he's got a presence. Yeah. <laughs> he's him. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I, yeah, like I said, I never expected, like, people also that I knew there um, yeah. would be also in, you know, this industry almost, like, trying to. Or doing their best to break in as well, or right, up right. and coming as well. Yeah, I'm just like, what the heck? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for them. Yeah, if you know, if you know, you know. Yeah, oh, you know sure. who y'all are. For sure, <laughs> I, I always find it so fascinating when you, uh, when you meet somebody and they know uh, the same crew uh, that uh, that you know. Yeah. But then I'm just like, how come I never met you before? Like we should have crossed paths a long time ago, <laughs> right? And then, and then you yeah. have those like those inside. And like, every, and then like that person gets those inside jokes that you and, and your crew had, yeah. right? And it's just like, yeah, I remember back when we used to work at McDonald's, you know, that guy was blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and they're yeah. like, whoa, yeah, I remember. And uh, it would be like, oh, remember Danny? Yeah. Oh, oh, you mean Juice? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> you know, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Juice, yeah. I mean, I think every I think every crowd of friends must have at least one guy named nicknamed Juice for some reason. I don't know why. It's pretty yeah. common. I was in high school. Yeah. Maybe I'll meet my Juice I moved on. someday. Yeah. <laughs> we'll meet our I Juice one yet. day. I haven't yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. So when it comes to creating all these uh, these different episodes, uh, like you said, you know, you just hit the record button and anything goes, right? Um, now, is there anybody uh, between the three of you who's the timekeeper? No. Well, I mean, somewhat me, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I try to keep it within, like, the hour. Right. We used to do longer than that. Yeah. Like, hour 30, going kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you'd be surprised. You still can go through those episodes, and it's still a full hour 30 of us just riffing and telling more and more jokes and more and more stories. But we're trying to like, keep it concise. <laughs> yeah. But it gets tough. It gets yeah. very tough. Yeah, because, like, it's the enjoyment and just being lost in the conversation is always sort of the good problem quote unquote that yeah. we have um and then this guy just you know luckily just looks at the time that we have and then yeah i guess that's the episode yeah i, I just have to I literally, <laughs> he's the timekeeper yeah, i will. literally just yeah. have to cut in like that yeah. like exactly how he did it i just yeah. have to cut it in yeah it just like ends abruptly out of nowhere <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, we could, like once it's lately we've been ending on jokes where like we finish right. a joke and like oh that was good that's an episode <laughs> we'll see everyone like yeah yeah an yeah. hour can fly by it can. Like uh, the older I get, 
I feel like time is quicker in a weird way. It really depends how busy you keep yourself. I True. would say too, because I remember uh, during the the first bit of the pandemic, yeah, when we all had to work from home. I just remember mm. I was just like, man, this is like the slowest first bit of spring I've ever experienced. Fair right? Enough. Yeah, and, fair enough. Um, but that's the thing. I, th- I think the reason why uh, this is just my personal experience of theory here. Yeah, yeah. So correct me if I'm wrong, but. From my experience, because, you know, when you're like, you know, eight years old, you know, elementary school, you only worry about homework, right, at school. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you, you just do these projects at your, for your school. And so your life revolves around just a school, basically, mm-hmm. right? And then you have no other responsibilities. You don't have to worry about paying the bills. You don't have to worry, you know, and, and then, you know, just to be brutally honest, because mom and dad took care of all that. And mm-hmm. that's the only reason why. And there's other stuff we don't know behind closed doors that you have to deal with. You know, oh, you know, like, oh, the broken pipe at the house, you know, um, you know, oh, the, the garden in the backyard, you know, all that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah. And and then once we grow up and we have to learn about that, you know, life kicks you in the face. And, and now, oh, crap. Now I have to learn how to take care of all this stuff, too, as an mm-hmm. adult. And now you have to work um, long hours at, at your job. Now you have to, uh, if you have other side hustles, you got to make sure you make it work by putting some effort and time into it. Um, but that's the thing, because the more busy uh, I feel like I get, uh, the more the faster time goes. Mm-hmm. Um, and then what's going to happen once we hit retirement? It's going to get slow again, probably. I'm going to start a new podcast. It's just, <laughs> just going to be in a room silent for an hour. Oh, I, <laughs> like, that's the whole fight. That's 65 year old like, camera is going to be different. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's, it's just all like, just like you just walking around. And, yeah, yeah. You could just hear me yeah. do like make coffee. Yeah. Like, like, ASMR. Yeah. 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 Cook breakfast. And then, like, oh, oh, he made it to the bathroom this time. Oh, okay. I was like, like, oh, coffee's ready. Yeah. <laughs> Pour a cream and sugar into it. And that's, exactly. that's it. Yeah. And then and then Carl knocks at the door. Hey, are you ready to uh, hang out and play some basketball? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you're like wave your cane at him. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> oh, yeah. That's amazing. You, oh, good lord. Like, do you have any feelings about how like fast time has gone for you, or slower, or certain periods of time it goes yeah. fast, and certain periods of time it goes slow? Yeah. Right. Um, I just like the months have like yeah. shifted. I'm like, yeah. damn, it's already July. Yeah, even even now, like uh, with a lot of things that I do, you know, for fun and yeah. I find kind of like enjoyment and it obviously goes by like for a lot yeah. of people as well. Yeah. They feel the same, yeah. you know, they go by fast, uh, you know, like podcasting for us as well. Like the hour kind of flies by, like I enjoy yeah. doing that very much. Yeah. And yeah, like uh, my activities that I would like do, like boxing, all that. He's like a boxer. It's, it's. Yeah. It's crazy, you know, like it, everything kind of like whiz, whizzes by so fast. And then next thing you know, oh, it's, it's work again. Mm-hmm. It's work again. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's how a life is, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. just so again, just to remind everybody, Carl is an amazing boxer. So do not mess with this guy. <laughs> Dude, this, this man. Dude, even his yeah. knuckles have hair. Like, <laughs> I swear, like, he'll come out swinging. Uh, yes, even even Mike Tyson fears him. <laughs> yeah, Mike Tyson came at me. I, yeah. I need I, the money. Oh, okay. <laughs> I gotta I'm leave. Joking, I'm joking. He, he, I'm joking. Yeah, he needs the money, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he needs the money. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Um, so, uh, when it comes to uh, talking about all these different topics, uh, like literally, um, I mean, you guys have so much, so many different various things. And uh, what I and enj- what I really admire about you guys is that you even have those little um, highlight clips on your Instagram page, right? Yeah. And and so the one I came across recently was when Bobby was bringing up uh, Vampire Diaries, and I thought. Okay. Of course she's going to bring that up. So I brought that up. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> I'm yeah. in love with that show. <laughs> yeah. Which is weird. <laughs> it's not weird, but it's, it came from a random thing. No judgment uh, here, bud. Yeah. <laughs> like we, we talked about uh, what you, what you, whether you would want to be a mermaid or, or a vampire. That's right, yeah. And I was like, vampire all day. Like, come on. The only thing I got to do is drink blood. That's easy. Wait, pause. <laughs> it's not easy, but. And she brought up a friend had sucked her blood at some point. Like in real life. Yeah. yeah. Like, like it was a real incident. Yeah. Got cut. And the friend was like, Oh, my dad's a doctor and sucked her blood. And, uh, we have changed. <laughs> yeah. We're scared a little, <laughs> but, yeah. uh, yeah, no, she's great. She's fantastic. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, I mean, do you guys have any, uh, favorite shows, uh, uh, that you, that you do watch when you're not podcasting TV shows or movies? Have you guys ever seen the bear? Oh, 
I still have not seen that yet. So beautiful. Eddie, my guy. <laughs> so that's on. On my, that's, that'll be on my, that on my to watch like, list, hey? Beautiful. Yeah. Well shot. Uh, love cooking. Drama. Yeah. It's, it's just a well written show. And beautiful soundtrack, too. You, really? You probably yeah, even be- love it. Beautiful oh. soundtrack, dude. Yeah. Very. It's in your realm, you know? Oh, yeah. I know for yeah. sure. You'll yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> is there a soundtrack that like speaks out to you the most? Well, okay. So this is going to take me back to my childhood here. So th- oh, dang. I loved watching Wayne's World growing up. Okay. Oh. That's a. Classic. Wow. Have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah, it's so yeah, good. I've seen so, some yeah. of it, yeah. And and Wayne's World was Wayne's the reason World. why I wanted to get into rock music. It's oh, because wow. that show, I mean, it's not it's not just uh, just the music, but that fun lifestyle that, that Wayne and Garth uh, live, right? It's, you know, going to see live shows, hang out with your friends, driving around in the car with your friends, listening to your favorite songs. And I did that a lot as, you know, both like a, a teenager and, you know, and... And as an adult, you know, um, like my friends and I, we would just cruise around. We'd be blasting our favorite metal songs, right? You know, like like for a lot of people who don't know, I you know, I grew up listening to lots of heavy stuff. You know, uh, okay. as I was late teen and, and, and as a college student as well. Uh, all all my favorite bands like Sum Forty One, Blink One Eighty Two, you know, uh, you know, Corn, Limp Bizkit, Rage Against the Machine. Uh, this, Damn. Yeah, you know, Slayer, you know, uh, Metallica. Def- yeah, make it up sometimes. Maybe that's huge. Dep- mm-hmm. Depending on the album, I guess. Symphony of True. Destruction, it, it, it's a great album. Uh, but um, I even would like, it, I would even go as far as doing this. Like, um, I would go on Napster and, you know. Napster, whoa. Listen, wow. Download. Throwback. I used to, yeah. yeah I you know, to you know, grab some material from there, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Sorry, Lil Wayne. I'm yeah. <laughs> you know, and uh, but yeah, we listen to the, you know my favorite uh, favorite rock tunes, but also my favorite hip hop tunes with my, with my buddies. And then even for a little while, you know, if I if I you know if I don't want to listen to metal, I'll throw in some uh, some uh, trance trance music too. Damn, you know, uh, I mean, I, I had a conversation with another buddy about this because uh, a long time ago. You know all all the all the Asian ravers. They always you know have like you know they color their hair with you know like bright blonde or they all look like anime characters basically, yeah. right? Okay. So everyone you know color their hair bright blonde or you know bright red or blue, whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I never I did color my hair for a little bit, um, um, but yeah, like for me, like uh, that kind of music, like metal, uh, you know, some hip hop and some trance, you know, that that represented you know me just wanting to have fun basically. That's wow. Okay. Um, but and it, it kind of comes back to uh, to you guys in a way too because it just seeing uh, how um maybe not through music but just through just chatting with each other i think that's you know that's what really uh i think that's what really uh makes things so fun is mm-hmm. you know like me talking about you know me hanging with my friends listening to some tunes in, in my car uh, or i guess remember my parents car but still <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know you know thanks yeah. mom and dad just so, <laughs> FYI. um but uh, but that's the, that was an example of you know just getting together with with your buds and you know just having a blast doing it and then you know just but then you guys have your outlet just you know doing you know just podcasting with with uh, you know the you as a power trio uh, mm-hmm. you know and that you know that I already felt this is fun times with you guys this is not <laughs> you know you know like it's not even it's not even work it's like this is like. If this is work, this is like the most fun work you've, you've, you guys ever had, yeah. right. and I can feel that yeah. from you guys. Yeah, 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 it's very freeing, very freeing yeah. for sure. It's an amazing way to time capsule for us because yeah. even obviously when we get older and we talked about retirement earlier. Like, yeah, exactly. We'll yeah. just we'll just listen back. Like, hey, remember when you yeah. get us got us canceled with this? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. vampire we'll diaries. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but the guys as online personalities, like, have you guys ever had those kind of concerns, um, like, like thinking, "Oof, I don't know if we should have talked about that because that could get us canceled." But then, of course, you know, in a moment, you think, "Oh, you know, like, yeah, this is we're just talking about this, and that's all it is." I mean, do you guys ever have that fear of backlash um, for for episodes? Uh, I don't think so. Like, not and like, I don't know how to explain this. Like, it's. No matter what you put out there, yeah, people are gonna talk, good or bad. It's not true. It's literally has nothing to do with you, yeah. Like especially, it just has to do with them. Mm-hmm. Um, projection is huge on the internet. Like yeah. just projecting, it's huge. Um, I think when it comes to our conversations, I'm sure there's stuff we've cut out just because yeah. it's like pointless to have in, or we don't want to talk yeah. about it. Yeah. But yeah, overall, it's very just press record, press stop. Cool. Let's <laughs> let's yeah. edit it and get it out there. Yeah. 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 yeah, and uh, I think it's also in the um, relatable aspect into it because 
we we want to be raw as possible at the end of the day and that's right um and uh what's going to get us kind of like or what we you know eventually kind of want to get to a certain point of like you know our sort like personalities could just kind of like relate to so many that you know they enjoy kind of listening to us or even watching to us mm-hmm. and we just want to find those crowds like you know and we don't want to obviously cater to all of everyone yeah you know usually and um yeah, even like we've gotten hate comments and we just like brushed it off. It's fine. Whatever, I find that you know? surprised that I find it surprised that you guys get hate comments. Yeah. It's always just because of something we like we're consuming or like the way we're sitting or something like that. It's just like yeah. it's just very random things. Yeah. yeah, and sometimes even stuff that we say that we said wrong. Oh, you said it in a different or way. Like pr- blah, pronunciation. Blah, blah, blah. Pronunciation. Oh, pronunciation. Pronunciation. Yeah, that's, that's the really. biggest thing for us. Yeah. yeah. But I was even telling you, I was like ignorance. Yeah is a chance to grow and learn yeah yeah as opposed to arrogance to be like i said it the correct way <laughs> screw everybody else right no, I'll, like it's it's okay to be ignorant of course yeah, yeah use yeah. it as an opportunity to learn and then you can be a better person yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we've all made mistakes and and the yeah, same thing too you know when we go to school we fail a test well what we're we gonna do we're gonna study and get better at it exactly. yeah exactly Right. Of course. Yeah. yeah. And not, pe- not many people know about this, but even Albert Einstein has messed up. Exactly. I saw his hair. I knew he was going to. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this guy, I, I saw it was going to happen. Yeah. 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 And uh, I remember like, one of my uh, old elementary school teachers told me this too. She says, yeah, you know what? Even like Jim Carrey, he dropped out of school too, but then he didn't give up. I'm like, what? Jim Carrey? You know, I didn't. It's yeah. huge. Yeah. You always it's... hear these success stories. Yeah. And like, they're, they're very hopeful and they're very nice. Yeah. But it's, it's tough to definitely get in this game for sure. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. for sure. But yeah. It, but with the internet now, it's so like, put yourself out there. Put yourself out there as much as you possibly yeah. can. Huh. I mean, you've seen our clips. <laughs> I sure have. <laughs> I listen to your guys' episodes when I'm driving yeah. too, so it really helped a lot. Uh, yeah. I helped to get through today. So. Wow. Oh, thanks. Thank man. you so yeah. much, man. I think one person said, you're like, oh, I really like listening to it because it feels like I'm in the, in the conversation. Yeah. And I was like, you are in our hearts. <laughs> like, I yeah. promise. Like, yeah. That's the whole point. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, and also like, uh, just to kind of like bring it back to you, like, do you, how do you, if, if any, like, how do you kind of like deal or even process through with, you know, just get negativity or they hate commentary if you have. Well, believe it or not, uh, so uh, on my TikTok content, I post musical educational content, mm-hmm. right? And yeah. I remember the, the one that struck a little bit of controversy. Uh, it, it created like a division of two different camps, actually, right? Okay. And so some people supported the way I, I did my one lesson, you know, how to play this uh, this one Johnny Cash song, right? Mm. And, and you know, some people are like, yeah, well, that's pretty cool, right? And then someone else, you know, and the other camp would be, that's not how you should really be playing it, right? And so then there's a little bit of arguments uh, in the comments section and you know i i try you know i'm not able to you know um, respond to everybody of course right but um, whenever i can i always try to you know try to you know be a, the peacemaker and say hey look guys you know like it just again just for clear context i do this just because you know um i want to make it simple for certain people blah 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 um and and honestly you know people can take it how, how they want right um but you know, and, you know, some people do get fixated on certain things, uh, uh, you know, like, especially when it comes to music, for example, right? But I brush it off and, and I have to, re- you know, know that uh, in the end, uh, the main the main thing is, is that, you know, are people getting something out of it in a positive way, right? Mm-hmm. And if they enjoy it, then great. If, if not, then you know what? There's more content uh, to come and we can always uh, make more conversations down the road. Uh, now, uh, that's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I get this though, because yeah. <laughs> during that time when my, when my, when my TikTok started um, growing, I remember the one thing my wife and I, uh, we would uh, laugh and even cheer a little bit about is whenever I get a hate comment or, or any negative comment, we're like, yo, I got it. I got a hate comment. And my wife's just like, all right. It's so good sometimes. <laughs> it can be it so is. good sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, I want the hate. Yeah. Like, Cause they care the hate enough. makes you know, like you're yeah. doing something right. Yeah. Well, that's true. Yeah. yeah they exactly. care enough to just nitpick everything that you have. And then, yeah. Yeah. And, and, this, and this is the thing I talked about with, with one of my previous guests actually. And, you know, and we were saying that, uh, uh, there's constructive criticism, which, you know, mm-hmm. we, we should try to take as seriously as we can. And then there's just, you know, plain trolling and, you know, the trolls will just say, LOL, you suck. And that's it. 
right? Yeah. And that stuff I don't yeah. take seriously at all. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah. So so that's that's how I handle uh, these things. You know, there's I know there's, there's other different ways to deal with it, but it really depends on the industry uh, that that you work in uh, when it comes to that kind of stuff uh, on content posting. Um, but right, yeah, everyone should be aware that everything is a case by case basis. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Uh, when it comes to uh, whatever your position is at, at your job or whatever it is that you do in terms of social media content, you know, always uh, make good judgment carefully, but make sure you analyze and, and think and plan uh, before you jump into any kind of solutions down the road. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Very, well said. Well well said. said. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That was great. And I'm glad you asked me that too. You know, I, th- I think we can all um, learn from each other on, on this whole thing mm-hmm. because, um, you know, I think for, for all of us, you know, being online uh, broadcast personalities, it, it's never, it's, it's never easy. But, um, but I think when it comes to public speaking, you know, we're going to mess up along the way, mm-hmm. but at least you can you know, look back at, at episode one and then look at episode 35 where you're at now. And, you know, gl- the, the literally uh, crew can see how you guys have grown so much over the years. Of course. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm excited. I, mean, I just, it's fun. It's yeah. Little time capsules. Of yeah. Just like enjoyable times. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, just so you guys know, if you guys hear some of the explosions, there are fireworks happening outside right now. As you can uh, see outside the, the the window. Oh my god! Yeah, you guys see that? Oh my good yeah. lord! Yeah, there it is. Yeah. So uh, just so you know, this is, this is on July twenty fourth, Wednesday night. Uh, this is the day at the fireworks. <laughs> One, I thought it was every Saturday. Uh, no, they they also got uh, Saturday, Wednesday, and Wednesday. Saturday and Wednesday this week. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, okay. Here's a here's a nice little side topic about this. Since we talk about local content here, yes. uh, that you guys do on your podcast too. So for those who, uh, even for those who don't live in Vancouver, uh, Canada, um, even back in the day, there used to be four nights of fireworks, and so it, there would be like one Saturday, you know, two Saturdays and two Wednesdays, right? Mm. Uh, and the reason why uh, back then, I think for the fourth, uh, the final fourth day, they call it the grand finale day, mm. and so what it is is that all the three competing countries are doing their thing. Yeah. So it's a long, oh. this is like a long night. So, right. yeah. so, you know, country one does their thing for, you know, good, like what, 20, half, 20 minutes, half 30, an hour. Right. Yeah. 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 Next country does their thing. Uh, or maybe it's like a shortened version of it, I would say, but still, I you hope know, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they do like their short version of it, but still they do their thing. Country one, country two, country three. And then what they do, because uh, it, at, at the very end is that they announce who the winner is uh, after after that. So they had to give the judges some time to uh, calculate the scores, right? <laughs> right? And then at the end of the night, the, the MC goes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the winner is whatever country, right? Yeah. And then, you know, yeah. And, and the good thing is no one has ever been like, you know, Ugh, this sucks, you know? This, yeah. <laughs> this is a bunch, of B, you know, a bunch of BS, right? So they yeah, won't, yeah. no one will ever complain about like the winners. Maybe, you know, it may happen on the internet, but... Um, but now I guess it's now cut down to just only three nights. So, um, mm. so because now what they do, they they just do is that um, all the three different countries compete, and then they just announce the winners online, and that's it. But I kind of miss the Aww. grand finale thing because, like, <laughs> yeah. I think it it will bring more pull. Uh, but yeah. I but I kind of get in the way because it, you know it's a lot of work to clean up the beach after the, the night is done. You know, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I can't like. Have you seen the beaches after? <laughs> oh yeah, don't trust me. Right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, like, I mean, I told you guys earlier before we recorded this, this conversation. Like, I I used to go to English Bay quite a few times with my friends and hang out at the beach, right? And yeah. you know, that's the fun part about it. Is before the show is you know hanging out at the beach and barbecuing with your friends and play frisbee and go swimming, but. The thing that really stinks is, yeah, like like all that garbage that's lying around on the grass field and on the beaches after the after the show. Yeah. It's been like this for decades, I think. You know, and and I don't think yeah. we've learned a lesson, um, despite you know how many times we have to remind ourselves that. Yeah. And um, that's why they're kicking people out now, like Very after early. 10 p.m. or yeah. something. Yeah. 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 So unfortunately, some folks have ruined it for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like five years ago, me and Carl like went there at like two in the morning, just out of like. <laughs> yeah, and just, it was like, hang out, just cause right? like we're just yeah. hanging out and, uh, yeah. and there was like a bunch of people there like it was still yeah. active yeah and and no one was like messing around no one was trying to do diabolical shit yeah yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah um so so i i feel like that that's the thing that that's been that's been um missing because i know that you guys have been talking about this about you know the local nightlife can it can be very depressing right yeah. um at least you know what I can see from my my point of view, and you know again, I'm um, sorry if this offends anyone, but 
I find out Gramel Street is not as fun as it used to be, uh, at least for me as a musician. Right? As a musician. As a musician, yeah. too. As a musician. Wow. Okay. So even musicians feel it. Yeah, we, we feel wow. it, you know, and because the only surviving venue that's still happening for live music is the Roxy, at least from my knowledge. Of course. Yeah. Right. And maybe sometimes the Morrissey for open mic night on certain Sundays. Um, mm-hmm. And they do have live music there sometimes, too. But that's still a drop in the bucket compared to how, how much they had back then for live music. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, too, I mean, you guys saw the clips of how Halloween was on Grandma Street. Uh, it was it was buck wild. <laughs> Yeah. Very, very <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, you, like you see, like people like, like climbing all over the buildings, you know. And I'm just like, yeah. man, these guys are like doing some dangerous stuff yeah. here. I'll, I'll, I personally don't agree with that. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, I get it. It's Halloween. You guys are having a blast, but yeah. come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> just because you dress up as Spider Man doesn't, doesn't mean you're gonna, you know, you have to like take that character seriously. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do, you know. <laughs> Spider Man. It's no longer how it's now what cosplaying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Granville was a different vibe oh. even before 2020. Yeah, yeah. Granville was different. Even like 2018 when I first I, came here. Yeah, it was yeah. like a completely different experience. I think just COVID kind of derailed a lot of things. I yeah. think for a lot of us, yeah, stifled. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I don't know. How was it before though? Like, was it there? Was there like a lot of more yeah. fresher music scenes and everything there was a bit more variety at least from my experience uh, a long time ago um there was a yeah there was some some venues they, they had live music um live local music to be specific mm, right because yeah. you know the, the, like places like the vogue theater and orpheum you know they have like you know the bigger names Big that play, of course right yeah. um but in terms of local music you know there was a lot more before and i'm pretty sure like you know p- people from our parents generation can um testify that yeah. too and yeah, say my stepdad was here yeah. and he, huge yeah. scene here it's yeah, just a completely different vibe. It, it is, yeah, and I think also you know part of it is because of budget, right? So mm. you know they found that it's cheaper to you know. Not there's anything wrong with DJs, just so you guys know. Just just delay. No dissing, my, <laughs> yeah. No dissing DJs. I, I have DJ friends, so you know you know I love you guys. Um, but I feel what it is is that there's, there's an oversaturation of the same thing, yeah. if you know what I mean, oh. right? Mm. Oversaturation DJs. Um, and I hope I got this uh, info correct on that. Um, but yeah, there would be an oversaturation of of you know of nightclubs that just do the same. stuff stuff you know what i mean yeah and i'm just like well what makes this place stand out you know but again in the end i think uh you know money is you know the the main reason for everything unfortunately yeah, right sure. and there's not there's you know and some places just don't have that character anymore mm. you know? yeah I they're mean, all kind of like yeah like stand like the same kind of cookie cutter for every place almost yeah. it, it's copy paste copy paste and that's yeah. what it is because yeah. then you right. see these characteristic places that aren't drawing in public drawn mm-hmm. in the crowds or anything like it's it's hard to keep money flowing if there's money's not coming in money's not coming in yeah yeah that's rude of all of it yeah that's why uh that's probably why oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I don't know. Fireworks fireworks are really yeah. Attacking yeah. We we hear so so you guys are again hearing a combination of uh, both uh, the fireworks, uh, Honda Honda celebration of flight, and a, a motorcycle going by. And this podcast is not sponsored by any of those uh, things. <laughs> maybe one day. One day. One day. One day. One day, well, one day. So, of course. Yeah. You know. Maybe maybe we, we could be the guys that can announce the the fireworks at, uh, at English Bay. You know, we just yeah. you know, go and have our own little booth and be like, you know, exactly. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or can you imagine like if there was like common common color commentary, commentary for fireworks yeah. like is that <laughs> just like sports incredible yeah. that would be incredible and like and alan just exploded a big red yeah. firework yeah. <laughs> five big blue dots on the sky you see them they're used to that <laughs> <laughs> and then the cat would just be like like holy crap look what are you doing over now <laughs> yeah. you can off you, you, you <laughs> can be that one that just like just like does all the scream just like just you know how like they do it in fifa remember how like when, when they get whenever the guy scores and then and like the guy goes like, he got that goal. Go. I yeah, can yeah, do that. Yeah. I can play that. Yeah, we can make the ad libs. <laughs> yeah. I'll do ad libs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, speaking of ad libs, this guy. Oh what? my god, you're trying. You're doing music. Almost. Oh, I tried yeah. to make a song. Yeah. yeah. Really? I don't, like yeah, I almost yeah. forgot. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah it is hip hop based. Though. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 Do you have any inspirations uh, that got you into wanting to compose hip hop music? I just, uh, I guess the man who does it all, Childish Gambino. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Like, he does Donald everything. Donald Glover. Good like, Lord. He, yeah. Like, because I found him when I was a teenager. I was like, dude, okay, okay, music's great, music's great. And then yeah. he gets his shows. I was like, okay, the shows are great. Comedy's yeah. great. Yeah. Oh, he's doing everything. He's doing yeah. movies. He's acting. Like, yeah. Oh, he's just taking over everything. So. Yeah. What was your reaction when you first saw the music video to This Is America? 
I was hyped. <laughs> yeah. I was so hyped. I was in my apartment in uh, yeah. in Alberta, in central Alberta. Nice. And, uh, it was like six in the morning, and I just got off work. Yeah. And I just started dancing in my living room. I was like, "Hey, this yeah. is where... yeah." It was such a fun time. Intense though. Yeah. The yeah. narrative. I spent like the next few days just researching the video because it was so many narrative shots. So out. much. So much symbolism in that whole video, man. So many symbolisms. Yeah. Uh, the talk throughout of it, like, it yeah. sparked so many conversations. Yeah, yeah, and you know, and and the, definitely, I can definitely see that you know all the the American po- political commentary behind it too. You know, yeah. and normally, you know, just for the record, you know, I normally don't talk about politics uh, too yeah. when I see that, but um, when, but when I do watch videos like uh, "This Is America" from Childish Gambino, I'm just like, wow, like the, this hits really deep. Even if you're not into that kind of stuff, but man, it will hit everyone pretty deep in a in a really oh, impactful way. Yeah, it sparks yeah. something. It sparks something. Yeah, because uh, yeah, even like um, being exposed to Childish Gambino, even this guy, this guy kind of like got me on deeper into it. Yeah, yeah. but. Like, my fault. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you, Cam? <laughs> actually, this guy uh, got a shout out to Cameron here. He actually um kind of molded my music taste as of you know as of late now because like right on yeah mission accomplished. Just, I did it. <laughs> I did it correctly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah, just kind of like more ex- exposing me into just more kind of like in depth of the artistry with music and mm-hmm. you know the you know, personalities of these amazing artists to these musics. Yeah. I've never known, you know, to be existent. You yeah. Know, um, until kind of people like Childish Gambino, Tyler, the creator that I've been exposed to and yeah. Frank Ocean. And then he, him kind of like breaking it down for me. I was like, what the heck, man? Like, that's crazy. He's, I don't know how like people like this could be this genius of, yeah. you know, just creating something like this masterpiece. Music's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Music's incredible. Yeah. Well, speak of hip hop, um, what are your guys' general thoughts on, uh, say, Kanye West's uh, uh, stuff? Let's say compare his old stuff to his current stuff, or somewhere in between. True. I think it's everlasting. It, like everyone's gonna go through stages, and yeah. what like people hated like Yeezus in 2013 when that came out. People yeah. hated it, but now it's sparked so many new projects that have just like given birth. I mean, obviously, Death Grips. Yeah. did it first in like that 2010 2011 era yeah. of like this grungy hard techno uh yeah. especially to start an album but like people love Yeezus now people love those death scripts albums mm-hmm. so i think it's just like oh the next thing what's the next thing and you yeah. can always just appreciate it yeah uh, of course are subjective you know mm-hmm. yeah it is you know it sure is um and and this is the thing too, because when, I remember like when I was listening to some of the, like Kanye's old stuff too, um, when you know he was starting to get known, I'm like, wow, like this guy is gonna go somewhere <laughs> with this. <laughs> yeah. And I had the pleasure of seeing him live in 2011, actually, when him wow. he toured Jay Z, mm-hmm. um, and I'm just like, we are seeing two huge dudes duetting. Uh, and Rogers Arena, and I just remember how hyped that whole crowd was. And um, <laughs> when they were, uh, but you know, um, during that whole tour, uh, they have to record clips of concerts for their videos for Paris, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, people in Paris, yeah, people so, in Paris. Um, yeah. So when they, uh, so they had to play that song, let's, I think it was like like 10, 13 times, somewhere around there. Oh, wow. And uh, my wife, my wife and I, we left like, kind of like halfway through, like you know, after I guess six takes, right? So because <laughs> we, we I knew can't that. keep saying it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I told you, I'm never gonna say that word. Whoa. I would never want to. I gotta say leave. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So no, <laughs> all jokes aside, but you know, like um, because uh, it was getting really late for us too, and we yeah, wanted to yeah. be able to catch our train and not get stuck, right? So sure. yeah. <laughs> that was the main reason why we wanted to. to we need yeah. to leave. Of but, course, of course. Um, but just uh, seeing uh, um, that special moment of that concert, just in general, of oh, yeah. Jay Z and Kanye collaborating together, like you're not oh going to see God. that too often. Oh my God, right. those are legends. You know, yeah. you witnessed like you a witnessed a piece of history. Piece oh, like, of yeah. huge. Oh yeah, good yeah. lord, yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. This shit is crazy. Oh no, trust me. Yeah, I'm all up to say like I have I've witnessed this, and this was just like a once in a lifetime tour for these guys, you know. And yeah. so I'm actually glad that uh, that they managed to make a music video. I just grab clips of every show they've done uh, around the whole tour, um, and it was it was it was it was great to to witness that happen. Uh, but I will say, you know, the the spite 
the whole Taylor Swift controversy that he did with the 2009 MTV mm. Awards back in the yeah. day. You know, that's a, that's a different story in itself, a uh, different topic. But uh, but Kanye as a performer, I mean, yeah, like it's it's unbelievable. Like, yeah. um, and you know, but yeah, like there's some stuff I will say. You know, yeah, like I mean, yeah, he's pretty kooky t- uh, in some other avenues. He's a type of individual. Oh yeah, sure. like you know, yeah. I won't I won't say too much, but all I know is that yeah, just from other stuff I witnessed, I'm just like, yeah, mm. I don't know about that man, but yeah. as a performer though, you're, unbelievable. You're you're yeah masterpiece yeah. the guy mm-hmm. yeah he he was accounted for in like even changing the shift of hip hop yeah even because when he was coming in no one was talking about the stuff he was doing like mm-hmm. college dropout working yeah. at the gap or like winners right like, like he was talking about these everyday to day life stuff that a lot of people can relate to yeah before that rap was very gangster rap especially like going to east cal like west california like it's yeah. very big hip hop trends in new york too yeah like, that's right yeah and it shifted to like this new guy on the block. Yeah. It's being like, oh, I worked at the Gap, working long hours. I'm just yeah. trying to escape. And like, and it just tonal shifted hip hop. And yeah. Like it's, he's, he's a figure for sure. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. when you think about hip hop, because even back then the stuff I listened to a lot was, you know, people like, you know, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Yeah. Dre. NWA. Uh, you know, yeah. And Eminem, uh, Ice Cube, right? Even Ice T, Busta Rhymes, wow. you know, all yeah. the list goes on and on. Be, and Notorious B.I.G., yeah. uh, P. Diddy, right? All those, all those guys. You know, we, we, of course, they're they're legends, right? Yeah, no doubt, they're legends. But yeah, but when someone like Kanye came along, like, like you said, um, he really changed the game mm-hmm. uh, of people's playlists uh, ever since. Mm-hmm. And you know, uh, I mean, we like for me, I used to listen, listen to my my favorite classic hip hop. I can't believe I'm saying classic hip hop. You know, it's just hard because <laughs> when hip hop became a thing, you know that you know that you know. You should just hip hop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. hip hop. Yeah, when it comes to you know, when it comes to like you know um, all all these all these uh, these rap tracks I listen to, like um, my favorite, uh, you know, besides Eminem and Jay Z and uh, Dr. Dre, uh, Beastie Boys. Uh, Beastie that, Boys ooh. is huge. Wow. Yeah. Boys. yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah, and you know, just hearing those you know, all that kind of stuff. That just, scream. Yeah, <laughs> I, just, I know it's. So ah! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was it was that, was that one track sabotage? Sabotage. Yeah. 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 Ah! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Beastie yeah. Boys is huge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's create a scenario here. If 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 the three of you, so uh, Cam, Carl, and Bobby, uh, were all uh, driving on a road trip, listening to oh. um, your favorite song, uh, which one would it be? Uh, uh, where you're all singing together, just like Wayne's World, that one scene. Okay. Oh wow. Uh, one got to be a Tyler song. Yeah. Just because Rabob. Rabob is a big me, Tyler me fan and as well. Like found like our, we got connected heavy through Tyler. Right on. And we went to go see him a few years ago. Like it was great. Yeah, but um, probably like see you again. See you again. That's a classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah classic. Like easy, classic. See you again or what's your name? What's your name right now? Yeah. yeah, those are those are just easy chill, quick songs. You know. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Do you have Do you have a Do you have a song? Do you have an idea? Uh, I would very much go into Tyler for sure. Um. Dude, I feel yeah, like we're having quick. an earthquake right now. With these, <laughs> oh, these no, fireworks I mean, going on. Uh, just, just, just so everyone's aware, uh, the fireworks are still happening. Uh, st- I think oh it's just taunting God. us now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry, like it seems like every five to ten minutes we're just like, oh my god, look at that fireworks! Yeah, <laughs> like, <outside of> the- <laughs> oh I think this is the first time we've ever had just- a podcast. I mean, you know, I'm gonna say this: this might be the first podcast where fireworks are happening simultaneously <laughs> in my chest too. Wow. It's great. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for having us, Eddie. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Yeah, <laughs> so so this is this is history making here in 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 Vancouver <laughs> podcast history. We are podcasting with fireworks in the background. So yeah, <laughs> so, oh, but yeah, so. Um, so, like, let's say you know if you if you have yeah. your favorite road trip um, tunes to listen to, do you have like your top three at least? Oh, oh Ooh, top three! Good lord, pulling deep. Um, for sure, because I busked. Uh, best part, best part's gonna be in there. Nice, um, yeah. of course. And um, so if the three of us were basically in the car, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, singing, singing beautifully. Singing, yeah. It, there's something about just Frank Ocean to me just is, feels so nostalgic mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. Ooh. So something with Frank Ocean. Good pull. Yeah. Something with Frank Ocean, most likely, most likely thinking about you. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. My, my voice hurts just thinking about it, trying to sing, <laughs> yeah. sing that because he sings so high. I was like, ah. Like, nice. Thinking about you. Nice. Um, and then the third would, hmm. 
I don't know. You take the third one. Uh, what would be the third one for us? Redbone. <laughs> Redbone. Oh, yes! Yes! Yeah, there you yeah. go. Good lord, yeah. yes. Have yes. To drink yeah. Hello fluids after, but we good. That's awesome. <laughs> I remember um was it back a long time ago, we were just hanging out at a buddy's apartment and uh there was a bunch of us. I guess I think it was his birthday party or something, but um I had no idea these guys were huge Usher fans, okay? So yeah. the, so so the minute you got it bad start playing, it was like a massive sing along, okay? Mm. And usually, not too many people I knew of at the time would sing along to Usher. That was the last thing that ever came to my mind. Wow. It's like, I thought, because, you know, like, from, at least for me, I always thought everybody would just sing along to the typical stuff, you know, like Bohemian Rap City, right? Yeah. You know, or, yeah, that's um, easy. Yeah, 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 or or you know, Sweet Caroline, right? Oh, or when it, yeah. I guess when it, if it came to R and B tunes, I would always think Destiny's Child, uh, Say My Name. You know, just as an example. That's oh. such a good song. Oh, yeah, it's just say the yeah. first it's line. A, it's a great sing along, you know. <laughs> like it's, it's so perfect. But then, but then, like Usher pops. Up. Yeah, then Usher pop, You got Bad pops up. I'm just like, well, it's a great song. Like, don't get me wrong. You know, it's a really, really yeah. great uh, yeah. slow jam, right? But I'm just like. These guys knew his lyrics for "You Got Bad" from start to finish. How is this possible? You know what I mean? <laughs> and and I had no idea I was in a room full of diehard Usher fans, but I guess I was. So. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. yeah. Usher. Usher's are good. He's great. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's talk about the future of uh, glitter- literally. Um, do you guys have any uh, new ideas that you're gonna do to maybe uh, shake things up a little bit, or do you guys uh, feel like this for- current format is uh, is great, is consistent, and it-, it works so far? I wish we didn't have to work full time <laughs> like as <laughs> yeah. much as everyone else does. Yeah, like, yeah. you know. But um, I would say this format, this podcast, this is something I want to keep long term. Awesome. Um, it just keeps going. But like, other than that, glitterly as a brand. I wanted to like incorporate shows. Yeah. So like cooking with Cameron or something just that can just be more interactive and fun. Right on. Mm-hmm. Because I think one thing that we're trying to work on that like that's key in our episodes, we talk to each other a lot. We talk yeah. to each other a lot. Yeah, you brought this jokes. up. Yeah. Uh, we want to start like talking more directly nice. to anyone that watches us. Yeah. Takes the time to watch us or listen even. I just want them to like be like, oh, okay, they're talking to me and like, oh, I can relate and you know yeah. anything. Um, anything. I had another idea, like Candid Cameron. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Where I would uh, just wow. interview someone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, Candid Cameron. Uh, yeah, because I used to watch that show, Ken and Camera. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Dom DeLuise. Uh, <laughs> the late, great Dom DeLuise. But yeah, yeah, rest in peace to that guy. But um, but uh, yeah, because, uh, okay, well, yeah, I guess just to let Carl yeah, know the yeah, format. Yeah. So Ken and Cameron was, um, it, it was one of those classic um, prank shows. Right, so friends uh-huh. are pulling um, pranks on their friends, right? So, uh-huh. so they talk to the camera crew and they have everything all set up ahead of time, right? And then, oh, okay. and then once the prank happens, they're like, "Oh, what's going on?" And then, and then the, you know, the your friend says to you, "Smile, you're on candid camera." Yeah. Oh, what? really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and that that was like the that was like like the the main catchphrase of the whole thing. Is, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, candid, camera. candid camera. Yeah, wow. and that, so that was like pre punked like yeah, pre-punked yeah. oh of course yeah, yeah. punked was like, I know punked I, I, that was I my that was my favorite prank show too wow um, but only because like like Ashton Kutcher like pranking all these celebrities I'm just like you know <laughs> who else is gonna do it but him you know what I mean exactly yeah. <laughs> he was a good ass host <laughs> yeah. yeah but uh yeah what? Candid Cameron it's, yeah yeah. I think it's a great name honestly Candid Cameron's hilarious and I was like that's great that works um, yeah and I do also have a show ideas for Rabob herself yeah of just having like very real one-on-one conversations yeah. with individuals and I, yeah. we want to incorporate a lot of these ideas yeah. but it's a uh, it's just time thing it's a time thing oh i know yeah yeah, yeah. but i think these would be uh, be good spin-offs honestly yeah because yeah. like consistent podcast yeah and then just shows yeah, yeah. just like kind of build this little world that's glitterly yeah you know? exactly yeah, yeah. What, what about you carl if you had your own spin-off uh out of the, the glitterly universe what, what would you do Oh, karaoke car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just keep mashing best part. Like. <laughs> For the 76th time, uh, Carl here. Uh, on repeat. <laughs> um, no, that's just actually just that's just been my dream to just busk 
you know busking's huge busking yeah, is you can yeah. do a live show yeah, we, like, yeah, uh, we, yeah. and a lot of us have, have, have done that as musicians too you know like yeah. I've, I've, I've done Gravel Street a long time ago back yeah. in my early days but then um, I've done even just a couple of years ago uh, I've done Olympic Village and that's my favorite mm. spot to, 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 to play at too nice. um, but you know for those who don't know um, but you know we do bring a lot of gear you know we, we bring our guitars but we also bring you know um, like our speakers, speakers and then you know like our, our signs you know just so right. we can brand ourselves that way uh, marketing it really helps a lot <laughs> doing that um, yeah you know, but yeah, but busking is, you know, it can be a lot of work though. You know, yeah. and you know, Carl knows that, you know, we're, we're putting in all these hours and all this time to, to get ourselves uh, noticed uh, musically. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think, uh, yeah. What was it? Or, or how about this crooning with Carl? If you do jazz music, okay. crooning. <laughs> okay. Yo, you could. Just for the alliteration. CC. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. Or, or, you know, maybe if for Bob wants to, you know, I mean, we're just doing this just for jokes for Bob. So, you know, please don't get mad at us. Um, <laughs> if, if she were to do barbecuing, uh, for culinary skills, it would be kebab with Bob. Oh, damn. We, okay. That's kind of cool. Yeah. 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 We jokingly, I think I, brought it up with her um when we were talking like oh it should be kebab rebab because like oh you yeah know? and then we didn't have a concept of oh, what we it just would like be. said it we just said it but like yeah good barbecuing yeah <laughs> yeah Could be, i don't know yeah barbecue recipes <laughs> right yeah, kebab yeah. style kebab <laughs> rebab <laughs> yeah. so if rebab is listening to this um please please don't kill us <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like the ideas those are all beautiful yeah. ideas yeah yeah, yeah. i think it'd be great it, it's almost like a um that would be like a concept to make uh, literally uh like its own marvel universe basically you know? yeah you can say that yeah yeah, yeah. You know, just it's, raw it's, yeah, yeah, comedy and, and, yeah. <laughs> and it's like the three of you guys are are the Avengers uh, together, uh, but, but then you guys venture off your your own little series too, right? It's just like how you know Captain America, Iron Man, um, have their own series, right? And 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 then you guys come together for the occasion uh, where it's like it's the Avengers again. Yeah. You know? Exactly. And, That's wow. really Avengers yeah. Assemble. Yeah. And then and I can be your Ant Man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't come in until you know later <laughs> later on in, in the series. So yeah, easy, easy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I'm very proud of Glitterly. Yeah. Eddie, thank you so much. For, yeah, no problem. For having us on. Uh no problem. Uh but um we gotta know about this though. How'd you come up with the name Glitterly in the first place? So, interesting enough, Rabob said we said something like literally, literally, and then we we saw that like I think uh, Rob Lowe or someone has a podcast called Literally. Oh, okay. And I was like, okay, I don't want to steer away from that because obvi- for obvious reasons. But I think she said it out loud, like literally. Like, and the thing is, I the original concept of the show was a podcast called Glitter. Ah. So I was like, hey, let me just throw these ideas at you, glitter, what? like glitter, and then she said yeah. literally. And wow. so when you search it up on Urban Dictionary, it stands for when you want to say literally, but be fabulous at the same time. Oh, okay. So, so I was like, so this has nothing to do with that 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 really uh, awful Mariah Carey movie. No. Okay. No, just just so we all we didn't even know Mariah this. Carey was <laughs> in. Know, the, I love her as a singer, but that movie. Uh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Zero zero context. Uh, I just like loved. Uh, glitter by Tyler the Creator, a song. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Uh, and then I was like, glitter, glitter, a glitter, a glitter show. Yeah. Like, there's something there. And then yeah. she came up with the glitterly, and then it's a word. That's, yeah. You know. And I was like, bang, that's our, that's our thing. Any yeah. chance of a glitterly uh, merchandise coming out? I have a shirt. Oh yeah. <laughs> we actually have a pro, like a what's it called a, t- a promo shirt, I guess. Yeah. An idea shirt, but um, that would be great. Uh, yeah. We just wanna. Yeah. Build more audience first. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, because yeah. I could I could picture like like a cartoon face uh, of you guys on a t shirt too, like like uh, having like a cartoon version of Carl and uh, a cartoon version of Cam and and Rebob as well, and just be like, yeah. you know, maybe anime style. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> who knows? Yeah, very who fun knows? stuff. Very very fun, very fun stuff. Very um, yeah. Very. The, the three of us are at the helm of it, so like yeah. I mean, I'm, I know how how many good ideas they have as well. So like, yeah, yeah, it's exciting for the future. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, have you guys thought about maybe having like uh, a special guest in the near future that you have in mind that you want to have that like you're just like, man, no, we've been wanting this guy on, on our show for the longest time. We got to contact this person ASAP. Wow. To be honest, I don't think yeah. so. Yeah. Well, personally, I don't. 
Like Obviously special, to... special guest? Yeah, well, we, 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 yeah, what do you think, Carl? Yeah, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get Obama. Hi, right, everybody. <laughs> so uh, I'm here at the Glitterly Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle. Uh... Uh, Michelle, <laughs> what's going on here? No. <laughs> yeah. so what about you, Carl? If you were to choose a, a, a special guest to be on your show, uh, who do you think would be a good fit? Eddie Lamb. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you guys are too kind. Okay, well, what, what about uh, someone famous? <laughs> um, somebody famous. Daniel wow. Caesar? Yeah. You're going to sing yeah. to him right after? Yeah, why not? Why not? I know your song. I would, I would pay to see that. <laughs> Daniel Caesar, I swear, I'm not a stalker. I just love yes. this one song of yours. Yeah, <laughs> like, well, why not? Yeah. For now. No. For now, yeah. No, um, I, I, ooh. That's really tough. I think, I think what we could have on is most probably you know just to kind of like scratch all of our itches. Maybe yeah. Childish Gambino. Childish Gambino. That's a great idea. It's either him or Tyler. I think. Yeah, it's either him. Those two. Yeah. How about both of them? And then they can debate about their uh, uh, their. Music I don't stuff. think we have enough presence to be on camera with them. <laughs> to be honest, like if both of them are there, we just have to be like producers. Yeah. <laughs> just film them. Do yeah. Like, hey, uh, scratch your head again or something. Like, like I just wanna. So. I just wanna film them. You know. We yeah. said that it was a podcast, but it was actually you guys talking to each other. Yeah. So yeah, and debating. we're just gonna stand there watch you. Yeah. And yeah. Not look away <laughs> debating on hip-hop supremacy <laughs> yeah. exactly. Exactly. Uh, that's awesome yeah, but what, who about you uh what, who's who would be your special guest dream guest. see uh dream Wayne g- from wayne's world well you know what if i were to get mike myers on here that would be amazing <laughs> oh that'd be um, amazing i would love to even one day uh just interview michael buble just to tell him i, I love your sodas <laughs> <laughs> Bubbly, bubbly. <laughs> you the pro- bubbly. Well, you know what? I, I do, I, you know, I do drink uh, bubbly. It's like actually, wanna, it's you know that, and plus that, you know, the, you know that superstore sparkling water too. Those two are my favorite. Um, this guy, wow, yeah. <laughs> he wants bubbly. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love yeah. that. So if you're listening, uh, just come back. Sponsor him. <laughs> uh, but I also think uh, when it comes to uh, other personalities, I want to interview. I would love to interview uh, Zach Sang, who I told you guys about earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, like he's one of my favorite interviewers. Um, Maybe Nardwar too. Yeah, Nardwar. Of course, yeah. Um, uh, if I was to talk to uh, another uh, uh, fellow musician besides Michael Bublé, um, I would love to uh, just one day have a uh, chat with. Um, a few of my guests have said this too. Uh, I would love to chat with uh, Haley Williams from Paramore, just to mm, talk wow. about her wow. career uh, as you know, because she's got like a. Um, 20 plus year career already and great voice you know and, and this is this is the thing that's so so scary i'm just like you know because it still sounds like the music still sounds like it, it was recorded just yesterday you know what i mean mm. and then um from her old stuff uh and um but yet you know this was like 20 years ago uh the the album riot that was it you know timeless almost, yeah yeah, yeah it's Misery. really good yeah, Misery Business is such a great, you know, it's a classic that no one oh, can deny. Of course. Uh, yeah. But um, but just to the fact that, you know, um, this has been, a, it stood the test of time. And, uh, but just I, just, I would just love to just chat with her more to dig deep into her music, the composition, the recording, and, you know, just get her point of view on everything um, going to the studio, right? Um you know, because um, and I had another guest that, that talked about this too, right? Because I always felt like it's so important to hear the artists behind the recordings, um, because nowadays, you know, we hear so much overly processed music. You know, it's so, mm-hmm. you know there's some bangers, but then it's not always entirely fun. Um, but when you let, but but when it comes to recording, if if I would love to hear their perspective on. You know, when they press the record button, don't have to worry about, you know, click tracks or, you know, pre-record drum beats. Um, you're capturing a band's live performance. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I would love to, you know, uh, chat with uh, musicians who get involved with recording styles like that. Mm. You know, um, so, you know, I will, so, you know, of course, besides Haley Williams and Paramore, it, just because I love their music, you know, <laughs> I don't yeah, know how the wow. recording style is, but I would, just, I would just love to hear, you know, their behind the scenes of how they do stuff. Right. Uh, or maybe, you know, let's say, you know, um, if I want to go back a little bit here, I know it's not going to happen, but I would love to talk to all the members of the Beatles to, to see how, Ooh, you wow. know, how, how yeah. they're, Ringo, Paul, George, yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And just to talk to them about uh, their recording process too. Cause I know that was done live off the floor. Have you seen the let it back thing on Disney? Uh, Oh, uh, get back. 
Get back. Yeah, yeah. get back. Let uh, back. What the hell am I saying? Not yet, but I know I have to prepare uh, for three hours. It's, very long. it's yeah. very long. I did. Because, because it's Peter Jackson. Peter, yeah. Jackson, yeah. Peter yeah. Jackson. Peter Jackson likes to make things three hours for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love it. I like, yeah. love the video. He made, he made All in Lord of Rings three mm-hmm. hours long, but he also made like King Kong, King three, Kong hours three hours long. Yeah. And then all of those other movies, I'm just like, man, dude, quit with the three hours thing, man. <laughs> it's so, yeah, it's yeah. such a good it's worth the watch. Oh, for sure, for sure. So those are my uh, dream guests, but I have a a, a lot uh, a lot more people I have in mind. But Long if I was to choose sure. one that comes to mind first thing, mm-hmm. it would be yeah, definitely Paramore and the Beatles. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Paramore. <laughs> yeah. Um, so guys, we are just about out of time. I just uh, we've been talking for over an hour, if you can believe it. Wow. Dang. One hour and eight minutes uh, so far, and and keep going, and still going rather. I love it. Yeah, I love it. But See, we outlasted the fireworks. <laughs> We, we sure we did, won. yeah, we yeah, for won. sure. We yeah. won, yeah. So I just want to thank you uh, both for coming in, and again, uh, big shout out to uh, Rabob also, who is the uh, the third uh, co-host of uh, the Glitterly podcast. We miss you. Yeah, we miss yeah. you, and, and well, again, I'll try to give her her own episode as well, so we can talk more about her life wow. um, as, as a broadcast personality too. Um, so, uh, so Cam, Carl, uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you guys. And again, uh, we are so glad to have you guys on here. I'm so glad I've met you through that that network uh, get together with all different uh, content creators of every kind. And uh, again, uh, where can people find you on the interwebs? Oh yeah, like um, everywhere, almost like it's Instagram, uh, but mainly, you know, please go to our Spotify and you know YouTube. Mm-hmm. But if you have, also just Follow us on uh, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, what else do we have? TikTok. Yeah. So TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Nice. Uh, listen to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and then if you want to yeah. visual, visual love, uh, mm-hmm. follow us on YouTube at Glitterly. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. And definitely check out those video clips too because sometimes they may be recording at home, but then sometimes they record like at outside. Oh, you even noticed and, that. Yeah, those, <laughs> are, yes. those are fun. Just so you guys know, <laughs> I've been paying attention to you guys' <laughs> content. So. <laughs> I always love to research before I get to know you guys. You know what I mean? So sure. we, we, we do appreciate it. Yeah. yeah, of course. And honestly, Eddie Lam, um, this has been a super like pleasant experience for us just because it's not only our first uh, ever collab outside of, yeah, you know, absolutely. literally. But also, it's just it's nice to see like a content creator as well, and collabing with you know such a good of a personality as you. It's, oh, thank you so much. It's <laughs> you guys it's, are too kind. <laughs> it's more than what we expected. Just to say, yeah. yeah thank so. you. No worries, no worries. Thank you guys so much, and thank you everyone else for tuning in to uh, this episode. Again, please follow the Glitterly Crew. Uh, they are an amazing uh, group of podcast uh, personalities who will make your day and will make you think and will just make you laugh all around too. So, uh, be sure to follow them, and we will see you next time. We hope you enjoyed this episode of The Eddie Lamb Show, a podcast dedicated to interviewing musicians and online content creators of every kind. If you would like to be a guest on the program, feel free to send me an email at eddielammusic at gmail.com. That's E-D-D-I-E-L-A-M music at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out my website at eddielammusic.ca. That's E-D-D-I-E-L-A-M music.ca. You can also follow me on social media. Username is Eddie Lamb Music. That's E-D-D-I-E, L-A-M, music on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning into our program. In the meantime, stay in touch, stay safe, and as always, stay awesome. Stay awesome.